Hello everyone, welcome to basic electronics tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss on diode load line analysis. Please note, in my previous two videos, I have discussed about the working principle of a diode and its equivalent circuits. These two videos are the prerequisites for the discussion of the topic of this video. I highly recommend you to watch those videos first before you continue with this video and you can watch the video on the working principle of the diode by clicking on the link shown in the top right corner right now or I will leave the link of the same in the video description below. Coming back to this video, let us start the discussion by first understanding what is a load line. In graphical analysis of nonlinear electronic circuits, such as the ones including either a diode or a transistor, a load line is a straight line drawn on the characteristic curve, which is a graph of the current versus the voltage. The next important question that should be answered here is, what does a load line represent? The load line represents the response of a linear part of the circuit connected to the nonlinear device in the question. To explain you about linear and nonlinear parts, let me take the example of the circuit shown in figure 1 part A. In this simple circuit, we have three main elements starting with the voltage source represented by E, then we have a diode and lastly we have the load resistor R. This circuit is a combination of linear and nonlinear elements. The input voltage source E and the load resistance R, they form the linear part of the circuit and the diode forms the nonlinear part of the circuit. Why do we call diode as a nonlinear part? You can understand that by looking at the characteristic curves shown in the part B of the circuit. If you look at the characteristic curve, you will note that when I apply a finite amount of input voltage, the current across the device varies in an exponential manner once the device is turned on. So, diode should be considered as a non-linear device, whereas a voltage source and a resistor, they should be considered as linear devices. Coming back to the definition of load line, we can define load line in simple words as a line that represents the constraint put on the voltage and current in the non-linear device by the external circuit. The point where the characteristic curve and the load line intersect are the possible operating points or also called as Q points of the circuit. It is at these points that the current and voltage parameters of both the linear and the non-linear parts of the circuit will match. Let us once again come back to the circuit shown in figure 1 here. Considering the polarity of the voltage source connected, the diode in this circuit produces a forward characteristic curve and this characteristic curve is shown in part B of the figure. To understand the load line analysis, we will now replace the characteristics by an approximate model for the diode and compare the different solutions we obtain. This will involve solving the circuit that is shown in figure 1a here and finding the values of the current and voltage levels that will satisfy both the characteristics of the diode as well as the other chosen network parameters at the same time. In simple words, we will now solve the circuit shown in figure 1a here to draw a load line over the characteristic curves shown in the part B of the figure 1. Consider figure 2 in which the diode characteristics are placed on the same set of axis as a straight line which is this one defined by the parameters of the network. This straight line is called the load line. Please note the load line represents the linear parameters of the circuit whereas the characteristic curve represents the non-linear part of the circuit which is the diode here. The load line gets its name because the intersection of the load line on the vertical axis which is this point defines the applied value of the load resistance R and the analysis which follows is therefore called as load line analysis. 
As previously said, the intersection of the characteristic curve and the load line define the solution for the network and also define the current and voltage levels for the network. In simple words, the intersection point, which is the Q point shown here, defines the values of the voltage and currents across the diode as well as the network when the diode is in on state. Having understood the importance of studying the load line analysis, let us now learn how to draw the load line on the diode characteristic curve. For that, we need to now solve the circuit shown in the figure 1 here by applying the Kirchhoff voltage law. This is shown in this slide here. Let us apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to the circuit which will yield the equation as shown in equation 1 here. By rearranging this equation 1, we obtain E which is the input supply voltage equal to VD which is the voltage drop across the diode plus ID which is the current across the diode multiplied by R where R is the load resistance. Please note VD is the voltage across the diode and ID is the current across the diode. Coming back to figure 2, please note that the X axis here represents the voltage across the diode and the Y axis represents the current across the diode. So, to plot the load line, now we need to find a point on the X axis by assuming ID is equal to 0 and then find a point on the Y axis by assuming VD is equal to 0. This can be done by evaluating the equation 2 which is our equation for the circuit shown in figure 1 by substituting ID equal to 0 and VD equal to 0 separately. This is shown in this slide here. Let us start by finding the X axis point first. So, as I said, we need to now substitute ID equal to 0 into equation 2. This is equation 2 which is rewritten. So, substitute ID is equal to 0. So, the second part of the RHS of the equation reduces to 0. So, what we get is E equal to VD. By rearranging this equation, we find the point on the X axis where the load line meets the X axis as VD equals to E when ID is equal to 0. This is a very, very important equation. This equation indicates that when the load line is drawn, the point on the x-axis where the load line intersects is equal to E. Let us now continue and find the y-axis point. As previously said, we now substitute Vd equal to 0 in equation 2, which is this equation here. And when I substitute Vd equal to 0, I find the equation reducing to E equal to Id into R. Rearranging this equation for Id, we get ID equal to E divided by R. So, the point on the Y axis where the load line meets the Y axis is given by ID equal to E divided by R when VD is equal to 0. This equation indicates that the load line will meet or intersect the Y axis at a value equal to E divided by R. Now, we have found the points on the x axis as well as the point on the y axis where the load line intersects the axis lines. On the x axis, as we found, it is E, and on the y axis, it is E divided by R. If we now join these two points by drawing a straight line, then that line represents the load line. Well, that is how you draw a load line. It should be noted that the location of the load line depends upon the values of the input voltage source E and the value of the load resistance R. If these values change, then the location of the load line will also change. After drawing the load line, the next important thing to do is to find the operating point, which is also called as the Q point. As previously said, the Q point represents the point of intersection of the characteristic curve of a diode and the load line. To find the coordinates of the Q point, we use a very simple approach here. This is discussed in point 2 and point 3 here. 
if we draw a straight line from the q point to the x axis, we obtain the x coordinate of the operating point which is denoted by vdq. Please note this point on the x axis represents the diode voltage. In a similar way, if you draw a straight line from the q point to the y axis, then we obtain the y coordinate of the operating point and this is denoted by idq and this value represents the diode current. So, finally, the location of the q point is simply given by the x coordinate of the operating point which is vdq and the y coordinate of the operating point which is idq. So, the location of the q point is simply vdq comma idq. Let me now demonstrate the same using figure 2 here. As I said, if I draw a straight line from the q point to the x axis, we obtain the x coordinate vdq and in a very similar fashion, if I draw a straight line from the q point to the y axis, I obtain the y coordinate idq. So, the q point is now located at vdq comma idq. Well, we have now learnt how to draw a load line and how to find the q point on the load line. But the important question here is what information does the q point give about the diode in the circuit? Well, the answer is pretty simple. For a applied value of voltage E and load resistance R, the voltage and current across the diode are equal to VDQ and IDQ respectively. So, if you are asked to find the operating point of the diode in the circuit shown in figure 1 here, all you need to do is to simply find VDQ and IDQ values. By doing so, you would have obtained the voltage as well as the current across the diode when it is in the conducting state. Well, that is about the discussion on diode load line analysis. In my next video, I will take up some numericals on load line analysis. So, stay tuned. Well, that is the end of this video. If you like this video, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on basic electronics. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.